Good morning. CJ. Good morning. CJ here, from Arthur Lance. And Richard. It's yeah. Wednesday, 29th of January. Are you warm enough? Yeah, I am. In that this bare, is, uh, bare, bare skin this is lovely, isn't it? I have worn it on occasion, yeah. It's very, very warm, very comfortable as well. I should have put one on as well. Yeah. yeah. I bald, bald, bald patch is getting wet yeah. in all this lovely you, snow. You've been very, very warm, I think. Yeah. Um, well, as you can see, it is snowing. It's a really weird sort of snow. It's these like little polystyrene balls of snow. Uh, it's, it's not sticking on the terrace here at the VIP lounge at Banderitza, but I guess it is out there on the peak. The higher up, I, yeah. get, I imagine there's more, more snow coming down yeah. than it is sleep. And it's been a lot windier today as well, isn't it? How, 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 how big are the gusts here? So? I was thinking around about 35 miles per hour, which is why there was a delay on uh, the chairlift Banderitza 1 going up to Tadorka which was not really a problem because to Dorka, I think the visibility was probably about 20 metres, if that. Yeah, that's not great, is it? <laughs> Much better now. I mean, when, when did you say the uh, more snow was coming? Uh, I think we've got snow tonight yeah. and Thursday. Okay. So I, th I think Thursday afternoon, Friday morning should be okay. A good amount? Yeah, 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 I think it'd be good. And then Lance was saying to me Saturday looks quite good as well, so it's some fresh air. Yeah, I don't like to look that far ahead. No, but you no. know what Lance is like. Yeah, ever the optimist. That's it. Anyway, big topic of uh, talking point today is uh, etiquette. Oh, yes. Uh, both on the lifts and off the, on the slope. We've both witnessed numerous uh, occasions where... Infringements, I yes, say. Yes, infringements. Gross yeah. infringements yeah. of decency. Yes. Where I witnessed yet another incident yesterday of uh, a child being hit by uh, a, an adult and literally just skiing off. And that's not right. That's not right at all. No. If you have an accident, stop and say you're sorry and make sure they're all right. Don't, don't just ski off. I mean, yeah. That's, or, if you get, or if you get attacked by a ski pole oh, by yes. some chap and who then runs off and hides behind security. Yeah. Yes. No, no mention to that Bulgarian. But. No, no. But uh, yeah, you've got to you've got to think about being think about others and on the slopes, making sure that they're if you're behind them, it's your responsibility to make sure you go yes. around them and clear their area. Safety is quite a big thing. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be uh, you don't want to be in that medical centre, do you? But also think it's little things. It's like on the gondola. Oh yeah, it's always a bit of a mad rush. First thing, everyone's excited to get on the gondola in the morning. Uh, but if you're there and you're all squeezed up and you know okay there should be eight people on the gondolas more often than not it's four or five but yeah. there should be eight but this time of year there's a lot of people coughing sneezing uh, no handkerchiefs not covering their mouths so I had my face mask on I was in a gondola and a lady refused to have the windows open so we are trapped with all that viral stuff going around. Absolutely terrible. Nice. She said, oh, it's too cold, it's too cold. It's I said, no, there's no such thing as too cold. You're just badly dressed. Yeah. You know. And also, look after yourself. Yeah, yeah. And there was a guy, if it wasn't for the cold, there's also a guy on the gondola. I think he must have been a, a descendant of Van Helsing. Yeah. You know, the amount of garlic that was emanating out of this guy from the night before was quite revolting. That's, uh, uh, strong garlic, isn't it? Oh, terrible. Smells, so yeah, open those windows. And I spoke to a lady on, an issue, on the gondola behind me. Gondola behind me. She had exactly the same thing, but there were two Bulgarians almost at fisticuffs with each other, fighting as to whether the window should be open or closed. Anyway, just minor etiquette there. It's not just that though. It's the chairlift, isn't it? Oh like yeah. That, leading about that issue with the uh, pole the other day, where that Bulgarian, he, uh, it was literally a case of I was helping Ben try and get into the into the car to get there. Uh, I was handing my pole and I, I touched touched the guy's ski and he, he, he felt the need to uh, hit, me around, hit me around my hand with his pole. I thought, you know, was, I touched the back of your skis, it's not a big issue. Yeah. I said I was sorry and I still, uh, still had a problem with it. But. Anyway, that's enough of our little yeah, rant. Rant, yeah, yeah, that's more, more about what's going on. You had a, 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 a bit of a bender last night, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, we won't talk about that too much. But, uh, but you did well getting out of bed, though, to get yeah, on the slopes well, first thing. Ben, ben was uh, nowhere to be seen to do, I don't think me. Uh, Cocktails, beers. Yeah, lots of them. I, I can't really remember the uh, food we had last night. We went to the, what was it, uh, at, at home. Oh, you went to yeah, at home? Yeah, I was cooked in bed, I tell you. Yeah. yeah, went there and then uh, went to Ginger. We actually had a few drinks with the girls that we were interviewing yesterday, actually. Uh, got to know them a bit better. Um, had a few more drinks and then I couldn't say what time I got to bed, but it was late. Um, You're not going to repeat that tonight, are you? 
No, I think we'll get, grab some food and watch the Manchester Derby, I think, tonight. That's right. Sounds like yeah. a good Manchester City, Manchester United. Well, I'm on the top of the food. What's the um, what are we all about for Friday? Uh, Friday. Oh, yes. So, there's, there's, excuse the thumb there. There's, yeah. a, there's a restaurant uh, called Oscar's. Uh, it's a quite a boutique bijou uh, restaurant. They only have space for 20 people in the restaurant, but it's more of a, a gastro food. And they're doing four courses uh, with wine for each course, and it's 60 left. So wine's included, four courses, haute cuisine, uh, and to get uh, to Oscars, you, you probably have to book, there's only 20 places. I think they've got four tables in the main restaurant and then a private room for six people which looks really quite Sounds special great. very special uh if you're a group of six people and you want a private party um and to get there you walk down to the main square where the church is bare left where the um big gray statue uh, of the uh monk is down the side street and Oscars is on the left hand side Perfect. I think you might be able to, yeah, you can. You can book that using the app as oh, well right. on the Bansko right. app. And on that topic, don't forget, you can book many other restaurants from the app, can't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, loads. Many loads of other, to choose from. Plenty of other, uh, other restaurants you can book on there. Don't forget, oh, the blog's been yeah. quite good, hasn't it? Well, I, I went to the 360, actually, yesterday. Oh, uh, in the Winter Market? The Winter Market, yeah. and I had the I like that, pasta. Oh, wow. Just one of the stalls there. Fresh pasta. Uh, I knew it was fresh because I had to wait five minutes for them to cook it. And I said, can you make an arabiata for me? He said, yeah, yeah, no problem. You're not the first person that's told me actually about that. Place. Very good. Me. Very good. I think it was about six lev, but inexpensive. It's still quite a fairly new thing, the winter market, isn't it? Not being yeah. Too, yeah. too long. Yeah, yeah. And they have a party disco atmosphere inside, yeah. if you're into that sort of thing. I know Chris, Chris Coon is a very uh, entertaining character. Is it just you sit down in the middle bit, right? There's a middle, yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Nice and warm and cosy inside. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The, um, obviously talking about the, the app still, remember you can uh, chat to and ask many questions in the blog. And obviously you book the restaurants, your chances, and of course just ski high and things like that, can't you? Yeah. It's, yeah. Um, it's, all, it's all great at that. Booking lessons is important because yes. it is going to get busier uh, in February. Uh, I think there is one or two weeks where Lance was saying that there are actually already fully booked for lessons. Really? So check it out. It's mad, isn't it? I think it's so far ahead. It's already actually getting busy now. I mean, I had to wait this really quite a bit of time. But the difference between getting to the gondola at 10 to 8 and getting to the gondola at 5 past 8 is the queue, The queues are. Uh, yeah. I mean, you can keep an eye on the queue cam on, on the channel on the YouTube, can't you? I mean, that's quite a good feature. Yeah. You can see everything that's going on there. And also, you've got all the cams from all over the slopes on the on the app which you can view see what the conditions are like we're going on for conditions seven eight out of ten today would you I would say? say about seven yeah i think blue five blue ten uh i was one of the first down them yeah. was fantastic absolutely fantastic i was skiing quite well actually not long ago yeah but i um, it's actually my first day in three days back on my own skis um, and don't forget if you're looking to buy your own skis you can always go to rental shops and try them before you buy it's yes. quite cheap like snow limit yeah uh, if you're into boards you know uh libtech burton roxy uh, buy them all up from there didn't you? yeah i think it's 50 lev and they take that off the price of the board if you really? say i really like this great i want to buy it they specialize in boarding right yeah okay cool massive specialist what's their, what's their main brand then libtech the one that i use is has the magnet traction yes you know is this the one you're on today or is the other one? Oh yeah both no both libtech both? okay yeah. Yeah. Not the, the orcas, the powder one. The powder one, yeah. yeah. So I, I need more, like more snow one. for the orca. Yeah. Yeah. We should get that though. Yeah. We should get more snow. They do have two orcas in stock, which at that shop, which. Quite rare, aren't they? Yeah, they're like hen's teeth. So if you want to get a powder board, I strongly recommend trying an orca and uh, you love it, grab it while you can. You love it. You love yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I actually tried the. Um, I've been into, into getting the super shapes for a while. And I, I super mean, shapes, super, these are ski. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the head super shape. The, you've got four, I think, sort of. You've got the eye speed, the eye rally, the eye titan. Uh, there's a, there's another one, but the the one I, I probably do really like is the titan. I mean, it's so easy to be able to come out here and say, right, I want to try these skis. And if you want to buy them, you can yeah. so keep the buy out here. It's, it's just easy. Because you never know until you try. No, you've got to try first. And you, you want to, you're spending that sort of money on something. You want to, you want it to be right. Yeah. But, um, but we should probably get back on the slope time. I think so. Yeah. Uh, um, 
I'll probably get on my board tomorrow, I think, probably ride out with them. Um, don't forget to uh, like, share and subscribe, obviously, to the video. Um, on YouTube, the, yeah. Yeah, of course. And uh, it's been a pleasure talking to you, keep an eye on things. And um, we look forward to seeing you again. Stay safe. Keep it real. Bye-bye.